I want to pick up on what you were saying about lost information, because I think that's vital. And you've also brought a lot of this out in your writing, touching on lost information, giving us insights into how you perceive the lost information and your um, take on it. Can you tell me a little bit more about your writing? Yeah, my writing, well, once a writer, always a writer. I've been writing for a bit more than 20 years. It's a but long time. Y yes, yes, it's been a long time. But my first published work was 80 years ago. And what drove me to publish something, because writing for me is poetry, short stories, just past time. But I was changing hands on the Saturday school project with a Rastafarian colleague, and he was piping out all of this information to do with the African Christ, Jesus Christ, and the actual origins from out of the belly of Ethiopia. And I'm asking him, why, for goodness sake, is this information not generally known? Mm. Who is Jesus Christ? That is the key question. And when I got to find out that we have to delve within the Egyptian Old Kingdom experience to find out the word Ka from the Temple of Horus, lifting up holy hands as written in stone, meaning that the embracing of the divine spirit in terms of rites of initiation, rites of passage, the second stage of the development of the understanding of this Christ is the Osiris Karast. That means not the lying in state of the fear, the mummified figure there. And then the last and final stage of this Osiris Karast is now where we become conscious, the Osiris K-R-Y-S-T, in the Cairo Museum in ancient Egypt. We can see it now for holiday makers, meaning to accede to the advantage of this K-R-Y-S-T. We are no more butterflies, we're chrysalis and laying down like caterpillars. But the body has been raised upstanding. It's just a spiritual and symbolic. It means that the spirit of humanity has now been free like a bird, free like a butterfly, in order to deal with all of the constraints and the entrapments and all of the guilt, the human guilt. It's at long last we've acceded to the highest level of consciousness. So to be conscious is to be the Christ. No, Christ is not a man. It's a Western idea. And John Henry Clark, the old master teacher, he just died in the American. So he said that the creation of Christ as a man was purely a Greek or Roman business behind closed doors. Jesus Christ is, the, well, I mean, that is not his name, for instance. We need to get it right. To find out the name of this sacred character, we have to go in his culture. He was a Jew. He was Jewish. He spoke Hebrew. His name, for goodness sake, for a start, is Yeshua, meaning he who comes to deliver. So there the are elements of miseducation in my book, Inklings of a Black Christ. Do I have a copy in here? Perhaps you'll see it later. Uh, this is what I am addressing, I'm dr trying to address. The churches are misled. Theological seminaries are misled. The newspaper, the journalists, European-led, are, are being misled by a caucus of information which has been piped out by Rome and Greece and they've left Jew, the Jews far behind. We are the African Hebrew Israelites. We, we are the descendants of them and our version of Jesus Christ, I'm so, sorry to say, has been lost.